Welcome back, everybody. Oh, I need some seeds right there. So things are going good over here. Bees are busy buzzing. We got lots of honey. So I should be able to harvest all that. Let's see, do I have any? I don't have any seeds. I need to get a couple more seeds. Don't know why there's a, a spot there missing uh, missing some seeds, but that is easy to fix. Let's see, it must be down here. Oh, dang it. Come on, let's go. Go, 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 go. Go, get out of here. Get, get, get. Get. Ah, this pathing on some of these are just, just horrible. There we go. There, I should take care of that. Oh, those aren't growing very fast, are they? I wonder if there's a lighting issue. I don't think so. We'll just uh, we'll just chuck those over there. So I should be able to see. He's like stuck again. I don't know what he's looking for. Some kind of flower on the other side of that thing. Well, that seemed to work. Gonna open all these just in case. And then pick all this up. I wish the honeycomb didn't shoot out like some random direction every time, but it's just crazy. Boy, boy, busy as a bee, I guess that is the saying. Well, speaking of busy, I've been busy back here. And I closed off this little area. And then cleaned it up down here where no one's ever going to see it. So this all looks like a nice planned, organized build. Not just a hole randomly chopped into the ground. And while I was doing that, I thought, well, maybe I should do another farm over on the other side. So I've got the, uh, we have this area here. I have an identical area on the other side. So I think I'm going to clear that out. And we're just going to put another one of these farms in. And then we'll have our two farms. I don't know if it'll be so bee centric or so glowstone heavy or glow, excuse me, glow berry heavy. But we'll, uh, we'll go take a look. So this is all cleaned out now. Not bad. I did quite a bit of digging. Then I had to go back and recharge my uh, picks and my shovels. Because they were out. Um, so I think this is going to be a little different than the other one. And we're going to start at this end this time. Instead of starting down and building up. I'm going to start at the top. And see where I need to go. If we go up here, I'm going to put the water source in that wall right there. Which means this is going to be where the dirt is. And then this is going to have to be the block underneath it. So like here. 
That'll have to be the underside like that. And then we'll do dirt, 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 like this. So one, two, four. I can do eight across, I believe. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Eight across. Let's see what's behind here. Well, obviously there is some kind of grass behind there. But I can't even get past there, can I? And if I shrink, oh, there we go. Let's head this grinch down. Okay, so this is going to be where my water sources are going to go right here. And then the redstone will just run up behind them. I'm going to use dispensers or is it droppers? One of the two. I'm going to use the one that I guess it's dispensers would dispense stuff. I use dispensers to dispense the liquid out. So this goes here, so I need to go out. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that'll be the dirt there. And this is all diorite here, because I want it to look kind of white and cleanish. I should be able to get oh no I can't can't get up there but can I yeah I guess I could still reach in the middle there to hoe or like harvest not harvest but plant I still think I yeah I can do that yeah I got a four reach so The only tough part is going to be putting in the sides here because I need water. And I think the best way to do that is to use stairs like I did on the other one. We'll plop them upside down and then I waterlog these and that will get us our water. I guess I can block this up. Now let's go back down and grab these so that's there so let's go up here so we will have another layer of dirt here like that and another layer of dirt here well actually not there that's silly that's going to be a very small farm if I put it there Let's go up. So I can't stand on this one. So this is going to be seven. One, two, three. Like that. And then we'll go down from there. And then here we'll do the. Oh, where's that? The diorite stairs. Put that there, and then I can uh, get those stairs that are eluding me there, like that. Uh, like this. I won't be able to plant on this side, will I? I'm gonna have to go into that wall. Or move it over one. Yeah, because that's not going to work. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I'm not going to be able to plant it.
Yeah, I think I'm going to have to make a little, like a concession here. Let's see, what's above me? Okay, don't be outside. Oh, it's outside. Yeah, that is a shame. And if I didn't have this here... Maybe that'll just be it. I just will have dirt on this one level here. Because I can get up here and do stuff without a problem. So if I leave this dirt instead of that fancy rock, that should work. And I don't really need to open it up on this. And I may actually be able to, depending on what I want up there. I'll have to go upstairs and look. But maybe depending, this could actually be a slab on the top right there. And actually, I can do this. Still do the slab there. Just this little spot right here. And hopefully, it'll look good. Well, I'm going to do this. That way I can go up and see. Like here. Let's do... Let's just dig this whole thing out. Yeah, I don't have much room up here. But I do have... It's... Oh, this is going to be... This... Yeah, I think I can get away with doing this. Because I believe this is going to be like a road. I'm definitely going to have a road going through there. So I can just, yeah, I can just use a, a slab to make a road. Oh yeah, that'll be fine. Then I can take this whole thing out. Like this. I'm just going to take out this part. do that and then I can just go through here like this oops do I need do I need this one yeah I need this one going too Yeah, I can figure this, you know, how it's actually going to look once I get up here. Maybe swap these out for something else. Like different colors or maybe put a pattern or something in them. But for now, that will just be our ceiling. Like that. Did I get them all? I think I, oh, one more right there there yeah so that'll work and then I can get up there and plant and like I said this is going to go out this far and I can do here will that go yeah I think this is going to be dirt there and then this will be all In, uh, I forgot the name of it right, diorite. It's all going to be this white diorite here. And I can put a ladder going up here, or this will be stairs going up here to get to that top. Then we get to here. We got one, three, four, five, six, seven. We go down one, and then we got one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Down one more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, ends up right over here. I may have to take 
Oh, I don't think I can take this out. I think this is all permanent wall. So I may have to end up over here. And then this will go into just storage or something. And I may, yeah, just extend it all the way out so it goes across this whole thing. Because it's going to run to this wall. And this wall here is actually, yeah, that wall here, so that's not going to move. So we're probably going to have to end it right here and this will be where the hoppers are so the hoppers will catch it here there'll be a wall well probably actually it's probably solid blocks right there this like that so it'll be a short you know four or five right there but then, yeah, then that'll be more than enough room for the hoppers to catch. And they can come all the way from over here down. So when you come in here, it's all going to be, you're going to be running right into farm right there. With a ladder going, or not ladder, but stairs going up here to get to the top. With a button someplace around here. You click the button, release the water, runs all the crops down, 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 down. And then you got more storage and stuff over here. No bees in this one, I don't think. And I will probably have to drop some lighting from the top. Or maybe just put lighting on these corners or something. So I guess I just need to get ahead and build this thing and then we can take... Take another look. Yeah, I built a wall. No. I've got the whole farm all put together up here. It's kind of two sections going across. So once we go all the way to the top, let's get up here. I have this little platform area, and this is where I'm going to put the seeds and stuff. We'll figure that out. And then this is where I'm using dispensers. I had to remember the name. There's dispensers and the droppers. Dispensers dispense stuff. Droppers drop things. So for these dispensers, I put a water bucket in there. It's going to dispense the water out of the bucket. If they were droppers, they would just kick the bucket out and we wouldn't have any, wouldn't have any water. Let's see. There, there. So I had just enough buckets for those because I didn't plan on putting these five over here. And of course, uh, do I not have any? I think I've got more buckets. There we go. Do five. I should be able to draw water from there because that's part of the half slabs on the sides. So everything should be hydrated now. I carved out a little space here just to give me some working room. Do not get the dirt out of here yet. I may or may not. It depends on what things look like up above because this is only one block down. But so far I'm just going to leave it. And then for this we are just going to and I think I could have done this over with the pistons too just put a couple repeaters here so this repeater this one should power both though it'll power this which will actually power those two on either side of it 
like this one here um, this one here oops and so this one will power those two this one will power those two and I'll just need one more here and let's see yeah like that So if I put a button here, we should have a nice flow of water out of those all the way down into here. And this is where the hopper chain is going to go, over that corner. Perfect. Look at that. Oh, I, these torches. i got to get rid of these torches. I'm just going to let's get rid of this torch. If I pop in, pop that block out and put a sea lantern there, that should make up for the torches. Do the same thing here. Uh, I'm going to put one here anyhow. Just to get it nice and bright, because I want things to grow. We don't run into that issue we had last time with uh, nothing. I couldn't even plant seeds because it was too dark. Let's get rid of that torch there. And do this here and there. There. Oops. Torch. There. Now I need to do my hoppers. So the line of hoppers is going to go over here. Um, let's see, it needs to go down there. Which I can do this. Because once it gets down here, even though it's pointing that way, it'll still drop. All the hoppers are going to go across here. Let's get some blocks. And then we're going to want to just block this up. So we'll run down here and they should land right there. Um, let me also, let me take this out here. I think I'm going to take this out and we're going to put blocks in there because I don't know if it will get caught on the uh, where's the other one get caught on the wall there I don't think it will but just in case geez I'm not out short one I just want to be safe better safe than sorry as they say now I was trying to figure out how to get the items so these items I want these items to end up over here so it needs to go I've got this little underground area So it needs to go all the way over this way. So it's going to hit here. So we're going to need, let's do, this. That goes there, that goes there. 
So that should work. Actually, if I do this, that should work better. That'll be fine. Doesn't need to look too neat. Now this is a lot of hoppers. So I'm going to need to go from over here. And right here is where I'm going to pop it into an item elevator and kick it up. I mean, ideally I should pop it into a sorting system. I could probably put a sorting system up there. I could, well, I could do one down here. Trick is getting it. I'm going to have to like pop it up into the sorting system and then up again, which I guess I can do. So like we'd have the sorting system here. So the item would, I think it's going to have to go here. Let me, oh, I need some comparators and stuff too. Let me put my item sorter here, but this is going to essentially go all the way over here. Oops. Now this is going to cause, or potentially cause lag. Because open hoppers cause lag. I guess I could, I don't have enough elevation. I'd have to pop, I'd have to uh, do a item elevator over here to get it. So I could, you know, if I wanted to do ice, I'd have to bring it all the way over here and then up and then over. Which I might do. Maybe if I put the item elevator here, I can save myself some lag. I don't know how much lag it's going to cause, but I do know open hoppers cause lag. Now there's one way to prevent that, or at least reduce it, which is with these compost composters. Like this. That will reduce your leg. And since I need to lift it up anyhow, maybe I'll have a small item elevator here. And we'll pop it over here into a sorting system. And then once it gets sorted out, I'll pop it up and seeds will go into one and yeah, seeds will go up one and the wheat will go up another way. Well, I kind of got carried away and I forgot to hit record. So sorry, but I can show you what I did. So, like, I have this hopper line going through here. I've got a dispenser here, or dropper water elevator. So, when the items get washed down from their growth, they go through here. They'll end up here, get kicked up, and over into the water elevator. Uh, this is packed ice, which I have lots of packed ice. And then uh, this sign the water the items will be flying through here and because this is so slippery it'll just come keep on going all the way over to here and into this hopper chain and this hopper chain goes into these two filters item sorters so this one will take the wheat it'll uh, drop it through here into this hopper or dropper which will go into this elevator, which will go upstairs into some chests. And this one over here is for the wheat. So we have the same thing for the wheat here. And it goes across. So this is a simple timer here. You got your dropper, comparator. It just tick, 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 ticks when it goes off. This one, you have your 22 items here. And what you want to sort there. 
So once it gets above 20, so once 23 gets in here, which will be like an extra seed, it's either going to be grass or a seed. Grass is not going to come from the farm up above, only seeds or wheat. So we're, we should be safe using these. If you want to make sure, you put a named item in there. The comparator fires off, it goes down here, fires this to turn this off to release the hopper to start pulling things out. So it gets to 23. It turns off, it starts pulling things out, it gets to 20, you know, 22, and then it goes off again. And then it flows through here and goes up. I did put this ladder in here because I got tired of walking around. And this took a little bit of trial and error because I had these walls here. Items will get caught on a wall. But this is simple. It comes up here, comes across, lands on top of this and then goes into the chest. You need, you need to make sure that the bubble elevator goes up and then this water has to come across. So the way you do that is you put your bubble elevator up. So you put your soul sand down there. You drop your bucket of water right here. You go down with your kelp doo -doo 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 up and that'll make solid water blocks. And then to make this one, put a half slab here, which will basically lock this water block put a block here then you don't end up with going down or go over and then you get rid of that half block and that's how you get a water flow coming off the top of the bubble elevator just a handy tip or hint for you guys there so let's uh try it we should get your uh, should get our 64 seed and 64 wheat it should start showing up pretty quickly Maybe not. Oh, there we go. So we got our seeds going up here. So once all those go through, then we should have the wheat going through. And you can see it flying across up here. See the items flying by. We use the packed ice because it's quicker and it doesn't melt with the torches. So and they're all emptied out there, so we should end up with uh, now all the seeds are gone. Now we're just dealing with the wheat. Nothing got caught. The wheat's all done. So we'll go up, cross our fingers and hope everything's there. 35 and 29 so that should be 64 oh oh no oh okay 25 and 36 oh block of I've got 63 so I lost the seed but I think it's because of this here well, if I put solid blocks or some kind of like a hat and have to put a stair there so I can open that but I think that'll fix it. I think that's the problem the water is flying off it's getting a little too aggressive through there so I think once I do that it should be working fine uh, then all I need to do is go through here and plant Plant all the seeds, and then when everything's grown, I can come over here, push my button, harvest it, wait for the seeds to show up, take them out of the box, and replant. And I don't have to go up and down, I just have to come up here once. So that is my second farm, or my final farm. No bees in this one, just seeds. But I thought... Try a different design with this one than I did in the one, other one over there. With the semi-complicated redstone filtering and item elevators and stuff. Which I was hoping to show you, but sorry I didn't record it. So maybe next time 
Uh, I'm sure I'll do one of these again, and then I can record it and show it to you. But thank you for watching, anyhow. I'm hoping you uh, hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye bye. Thank you.